Hey, Mount Horeb. It's the night before Thanksgiving, uh, and I'm just thinking about you. I'm thinking about what you might be thankful for as you get up tomorrow and step through the day on this different kind of weird Thanksgiving, perhaps, for some of us. Um, I wonder what you're thankful for. Uh, in that great psalm, Psalm 100, we hear this. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him. Bless his name. For the Lord is good. His steadfast love endures forever and his faithfulness to every generation. Give thanks to him. What are you thankful for? I know everybody asks that question this time of year, and sometimes it, it feels a little trite to me, but, but I've really been thinking about it. Here are a couple things that I'm thankful for this year. Um, I'm thankful for the ability to run. I uh, never thought that I would enjoy running in all my life, but this past year it's become a hobby that has given me space for thinking uh, and a space also just to shut down the brain and to use my body to the glory of God. Um, I'm thankful for food, and I don't just mean like Thanksgiving goodies. Um, I, I just love to eat, and I've, I've been thinking, man, food is a gift. And so what a gift it is how God also opens up a table for us, this thing that we need. Um, I'm thankful for my family this year, uh, especially in the last few months through all the differences that have been going on in church life and national life and uh, the whole world. Uh, they've made me laugh and they've kept me humble. I'm really grateful that we can continue to worship even though apart um, through means like Facebook Live and YouTube. Uh, it's a joy to see uh, just a few people in here on Sundays making uh, a service come together to the glory of God and to see different computers logging on all at the same time. Even though we're apart, we're, we're lifting up our voices in praise. Thankful for these things. And I'm also thankful for you, Mount Horeb. Um, what are you thankful for? I would love to know. Um, I would love for you to think about it. And if you want to, shoot me a text, send an email to the church or to my inbox, give me a call. And if anybody does let me know, I'm going to put all those uh, thanksgivings together and we'll share them as a congregation to see some of the things that we're thankful for. But one of the last things that the psalm reminds us to be thankful for, uh, this great Psalm 100 at the center of our scriptures, um, is to be thankful for what God has done and who God is. To be thankful not just for the benefits that we might have um, and for the gifts of God, but for the very character of God. To be thankful because, specifically, the Lord is good, even when all circumstances are not. And his steadfast love endures even when we do not. And so we give thanks to God for his goodness shown toward us in the Son, Jesus Christ, God's giving of himself to us. And we give thanks for his steadfast, ongoing love. And we, we ask to see signs of that love um, when we need it. So pray to see that. I give thanks to God for that. And um, join me in prayer now. Let's give thanks. Great God of our lives, for all that is gracious in our lives, revealing the image of Christ, we give you thanks for daily food and drink, homes, families, friends. We give you thanks for minds to think and hearts to love and hands to serve. We give you thanks. For health and strength to work and leisure to rest and play, we give you thanks. For all valiant seekers after truth and justice and righteousness, we give you thanks. 
for the great mercies and promises given to us in Christ Jesus our Lord. To you, O God, be praise and glory. Amen. Happy Thanksgiving, Mount Horrible.